I've uh, installed the y-axis motor. The whole thing took about two hours. So it's not that bad. Uh, works really well. What you see for the idler uh, pulleys are actually bearings taken out of old hard drives. So they work really well and the bearings are super smooth of course as you would expect from hard drive bearings. Uh, in the bottom of the slide I've put a spring for making the slide anti-backlash. Uh, tightening the belt could also work in this case. I haven't tried it yet. I will try it on other axes though. Now I'm attaching the motor to uh, an angle aluminum just so it could be mounted on the uh, existing extrusion. Since my screws are a bit short, I have to countersink every hole. So there we go, the motor is now mounted to the uh, nose of the machine. Two screws hold it all in place. It was discovered that um, it was needed to uh, redirect the belt, so I have to put an idler on the uh, plate of the motor. So the idler is a hard disk drive bearing. This is usually fine in old hard drives. Uh, this is the, uh, the um, reader arm.
This is a four to six beer project or two hours. Now you're seeing the motor and its idler. The idler is meant to redirect the belt so it fits nicely under the carriage. This is the idler at the other end. This is a CD, uh, this is a hard drive uh, bearing. And now you're going to see the underbelly of the carriage with its tension spring. Tension spring is just there, so it keeps a nice tension on the belts. Now, please subscribe and watch my other videos as I try to complete this project. This uh, should be completed in a few weekends.